Hello guys, welcome. This is Tipika from mytutorialrack.com. Now in this tutorial, we are going to see how to disable this particular form. So when you first go ahead and click on chat with an expert, this form shows up and it is kind of annoying. It is asking the same information where the bot is already asking that information. So you probably don't want duplicate data to be entered by the customer because it's not a good user experience. So how do you control that? In order to do it, we will go over to home and we will type in embed. The moment you say embed here, you're going to see embedded service deployments. This is where you need to go embedded service deployment and keep a note here. It takes about 10 minutes to get rid of that particular form. So if I enable disable it, you will still have to wait 10 minutes to make sure it has been implemented, but it will work. Okay, so now we'll click on that bot enabled. And then here, when you click on edit in the chat settings, you have something called as pre chat page. Okay, so this is what we are going to disable the pre chat page here. And this will take care of that form that appears. Okay, that is all we need to do is we go over to embedded service deployments, we click on this, and then we edit the chat settings. Under the edit chat settings, you have a pre chat page and you can disable it. Now, a couple more things back from the Einstein bot here. Now here you have dialogues, then you have something called as performance. So anytime you want to see the logs or you want to see what happened, all those logs are available over here in the event log. So from the first thing is you were at the dialogues from the dialogues menu, we went over to the performance one. And then from the performance, we go over to the event logs. And this is where you can debug it. When you click on a session ID, these are all the different logs that will show you if something some kind of error happened, you can take a look at these logs as well. Okay. So this is all about the Einstein bots. I know there are a lot of things, but from the exam perspective, also this is extra that I'm covering because I wanted to make this course a little bit interesting because this particular exam is all theoretical. So rather than just covering theory, I wanted to show you the different powers and different AI tools that are available and whatever I can with the, with the developer, edition and with the developer's account, I tried my best here. I taught you about Einstein prediction builder. Then we covered the Einstein for developers where we saw that pretty uh, powerful AI, which writes the code. Then we also talked about this, which is the Einstein bot. So we have been covering a lot of AI tools and I'll cover one more tool in the next section. So I'll see you then. Thank you very, very much.